yeah. And everybody real left me all alone He really left me all alone Now everybody see I'm doing fine Everybody wanna Ooh, reach out Ask me how I'm doing Ask me if I need anything Get my good with my kids yeah. high What's up, what's up, collective? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Ah, oh, I just love life. Like, I'm just sorry. I just love life. Like, oh my God, I'm sorry, y'all. Just this morning, I woke up bursting with love for life. Like, especially all of the bad things that I've been through in life because, like, oh God, I cried this morning because it's like if it wasn't for those bad things, who would I be? Like, I would not be sitting here right now. I would be fucking outside. Do you hear me? Like, I it's just like, just y'all be cool. Just chill and let God do everything that he's doing. Let God do what he's doing in your life. Let God do what he's doing in your life. Just let God flow. Let God do what he's doing in your life. You may not know what he's doing, but just let God do what he's doing in your life. Y'all send me a tip and drop a purple heart. Send me a tip and drop a purple heart. I pray that whatever you send me is zero, get added behind it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's get it. Before this reading, we're going to talk about some do not get involved. Do not get involved in whatever this situation is. Y'all can, um, y'all, if you look down, y'all going to see my picture with me with the blonde hair in. It's going to see a circle and it's going to be like red and it's going to say live. Y'all can hit that hole and come get a live reading. Um... It, it's the four. I know y'all just paying bills and shit. It's the four. Let me hook y'all up on the reading. I'm going to hook y'all up on the reading. I'm going to change it because I have viewers vote for 33. I voted that last Thursday. I ain't going to do a viewers vote. I'm going to... Um... Five, five, five reading today, y'all. Five, five, five reading today because y'all been showing the fuck out. Y'all been sending tips and shit. I'm going to go ahead and do y'all five, five, five readings today. Full readings. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Well, shit, I'm going to do it for the weekend. Since I had this one going since last Thursday, I'm going to do the five, five, five until Saturday. I got y'all. Because y'all y'all be showing me love. That's too fucking petty. I ain't going to be petty like that. Y'all be showing me love and y'all ain't even gospel. Okay, so listen, I'm going to do the, because the, it was 33. Okay, so I'm going to do five, five, five for the viewers vote. Okay, because we just, we agreed on that, right? Drop that purple heart. Um, for the eight car pool, I'll go ahead and do that one. Two, two, two for y'all today. All right, I'll just change up the numbers. You know my bills paid, so I'm going to make sure y'all is paid too. For the eight car pool, all right? Five, 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 tell our readers in two, 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 eight car pool, Okay. So now y'all ain't got to be asking for free readers and shit. Ask somebody else in the OG community for 222 for you to get a reading. And they do do that in the OG community. I be seeing that in the comments and shit. Like somebody put one time, can y'all pay for me a reading? Somebody else sent the comment and said they paid for the reader to hit me. Like it be crazy what y'all do in the OG community. I ain't gonna cap. It's like I got a little YouTube family, a little virtual family. Like y'all really be looking out for each other and shit. Giving insight and shit. Like, y'all be really engaging with each other in the comments and stuff. I really do like that. Like, I'm really a person of peace. So, it's like, I ain't had that with my real family. So, it's like my YouTube family. Like, come on, y'all fuck with y'all, bro. Like, y'all don't even know it. Days when I'm down, I get up on here and y'all lift me up. Just how I get up on here and lift y'all up. Like, we reciprocate energy. You feel we vice versa over here. Everything is 50-50 over here. You get what I'm saying? But let's get into this. Don't get involved. Don't get involved in whatever this is, collective. Whatever this is, do not get involved. Look, six of cups. Maybe this is something that already happened in the past. Look, five of staff and queen of swords. Now, this five of staff, y'all already know. That means arguments, confusions, conflicts, fights, rivalries disagreements so you're about to see about that in the future right queen of swords this could also be involving a female a female could be involved in this this could be surrounding a female whatever this this is you don't want to get involved with it because this is something like if this is a friendship argument this is something that they've been doing for years this is something that they've been doing for years. If this is a friendship, like friends, you're about to get into some beef with friends. 
family members, whatever this is, do not engage in this 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 drama, this bullshit, because this is something that always goes on. Look, death. This is something that always goes on. This has been a long-term issue. Whether these individuals are long-term conflict, whether these individuals want to tell you or not. Whether these individuals want to tell you or not, this has been a long-term going conflict and confusion. You should not get involved in it because I'm getting that these, whatever the situation is, like say for instance, is people arguing and fighting or someone breaking up and getting back together. This is always happening. If this is a friendship, they'd be arguing and fighting and then get back together. This always happens and you shouldn't get involved because we got this death card here and with this death card here, this can symbolize a physical or a spiritual death. And you don't want to get involved with this drama because you don't know how it can backfire on you, especially if this is family drama, like family rivalry drama. If this is your person, like say for instance, you got a lover or some shit and they're arguing and going back and forth with their family, do not get involved because it's going to turn on you. When them and their family or them and their sister, them and their brother get back cool, it's going to turn back on you, collective. This shit is going to turn back on to you. Yep. Ace of staff. This whole situation is going to turn turn on you. It's going to seem like you are the aggressor, like you started this, like you um like you made the situation go further than it already was going, like you um made the situation worse collective. Nine of coins, just this page of coins. Nine eleven could be significant. Shit, they might call nine one one. The police may get involved. Look, nine eleven, and then nine eleven right here again. The police may get called. The police may get involved with this. And with this rod, I always say like a rod mean a tool. Y'all know this trapper channel over here. So shit, we got the ace of staff. So I don't know if a rod may be involved. Somebody may have to use a firearm in this situation. But whatever it is. Law enforcement may have to get called. Ambulance, emergency assistance with this death. Something can really, really perspire and turn bad here. And maybe it's you, collective. Maybe you need to keep your calm and not get involved in shit. Because if you get involved, they're going to be calling the police. That's what I just heard. If you get involved, they're going to be calling the police. Yep. If you get involved, they're going to be calling the police. Collective, you need to stay out of this situation. And you don't need to get involved with this. Because if you get involved, they're going to be calling the police because it's you. They know you are a king or a queen of swords. They know that you go too far. And they know that you stand on whatever it is you're standing on. Yep. The tower. This can also cause negativity in your home to your dwelling. Look. It caused down a delay for you. This can cause a, a delay in your life. This can cause a delay in your finances. This can cause a delay in your career. This can cause a delay in your freedom. Because you'll end up having to fight court cases. Look, I can't make none of this shit up. You'll end up having to fight court cases. You see that 20? You're looking at 20 to fucking life plan with these individuals. Looking at 20 to life plan with these individuals. Do not get involved with this shit. This shit could really turn into a murder. This shit can turn into a murder. And I don't know how. I don't know. Look, or a fight. This could be a fight. Knight of Swords. This could be a fight. This could be a fight. This could also be an argument about somebody stealing from somebody. This could be an argument about somebody stealing from somebody. Yeah, Ace of Staff with that rod. I don't know. Somebody play with guns here, though, too. I don't know if this the, the karmic that stole. Play with guns. Somebody play with guns. In this situation, this is why I say this situation has been going on longer than you know about it, collective. This situation has been going on longer than you know about it. That somebody is carrying a gun because of this situation. 
Somebody is carrying a gun because of this situation. And who, whoever is carrying the gun, they will have the right to bear fire and, and protect themselves, okay? So whatever this situation is, it's been going on longer than you know about it. Like shit go on spiritually. Like, for example, they got this one girl and I see her, I'm going to knock her ass out because she was my partner and come to find out she was playing with spiritual shit. She ain't ever did nothing in the physical. I didn't even tell her nothing in the physical, but spiritually I've been letting her know, bitch, when I catch you, I'm going to stump your motherfucking ass. You're going to be part of the concrete I catch you next to because you was playing with witchcraft and shit. So, and just like she could be outside with one of her partners, her partner's going to get stumped into the ground too. Whatever she get, they going to get too. And that's just because they was with her and didn't know that something she was doing for a long time had been lingering on. And someone, a karmic, which in that situation would be myself, was upset about something that had been going on so long that others was not physically or mentally aware of. This was something spiritually. So this could have been something spiritually going on for a long time that's about to manifest into the physical. Okay? So if, if whatever situation this is that, that has occurred, I'm strongly getting this started off with finances. I don't know if this was spiritual finances or physical finances or just jealousy about finances. This situation here has been going on longer than you know about. This situation has been going on since these individuals were friends. This is what caused the friendship to end. This is what caused this friendship to end. It's something behind the wheel of fortune. It's something behind the wheel of fortune. You should not want to get involved with this. You do not want to get involved with this situation. I just heard rivalries. There are rivals. Whoever this is, is rivals. And listen, you really don't know what been going on, collective. Y'all drop a purple heart and send me a tip. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. You don't know what been going on, collective. You don't know what's been going on, but all you know is what you're about to hear. So I don't know if you're going to be with somebody and then this situation may occur. September 20th could be significant. September 16th. September 11th. November 9th. November 16th. November 20th. July 9th. July 20th. June 9th. June 20th. Page of staff upside down. Yeah, with this betrayal, somebody was betrayed here. Somebody was betrayed here. Someone did some sort of betrayal. Some sort of backstabbing. Is somebody seeking justice for this? Justice, justice is being seeked for whatever wrong and justice was done. Justice is being seeked for it. Justice is being seeked. We got justice and judgment. 2011 could be significant. The year is 2011. November 20th could be significant. Knight of staff. No, knight of coins. And eight of coins. Oh, we got, oh, we got a page of staff. Not knight of staff. We got page of staff over here upside down. Yeah, 63, 36, 86 could be significant, 68 could be significant, 38. Yeah, hey, it was a betrayal. It was a betrayal. Somebody did a betrayal for their family. Somebody thought they was doing something for their family. So I don't know if this is a family member having some sort of beef or rivalry. You don't need to get involved with whatever this is. Yeah. You don't need to get involved with whatever this is. Because whoever, family member, friend, whatever this is, they cause this problem upon themselves. They cause this conflict upon themselves. And you don't want to get involved with it in no way, shape, or form. The world. You don't want to get involved with this. And know somebody can have a, a, a slim ass waist, a nice ass body, hips. Legs, they waist make a dip. That's what I just heard.
girl. I'm telling you, this was a friendship betrayal. This was some sort of betrayal, like a major betrayal that was done. And the person that's trying to involve you in it, the part, the party that you're getting involved with this week, they're the wrongdoer. They're the wrongdoer. So someone is seeking some sort of justice upon whoever you are dealing with. The person you are in association with, someone is seeking some sort of justice for whatever they did, whatever betrayal this was that they did. Somebody is seeking just somebody stole something from somebody. Somebody stole something from somebody. Don't get involved with this shit. Don't get involved with this. This ain't nothing you want to get involved with. This ain't nothing you want to get involved with at all. This ain't nothing you want to get involved with at all. This person is karmic. Whoever you're dealing with is karmic. And they knew what you were doing, what they were doing by putting you into this, into this drama, into this bullshit. Whatever this is going on here, they knew what they were doing by putting you in it. But they really didn't care for the most part. They really didn't care what was going on. They really didn't care who, um, who got involved, who got hurt. Yeah. Someone can also be a musician here do like poems or writing or someone has been writing about this injustice or how they feel someone has been sorrowful and if it comes a situation where you are involved in this situation i really think that you should just um tell whoever this person is that was betrayed like you're sorry that it happened to them and you know just let the situation go because you don't the, the anger that this person carries the justice and the judgment that this person carries, it's like you don't want anything to do with this person's uh animosity, with this person's vengeance. Like you don't want anything to do with what this person has going on. Yeah, eight of swords. This person, whoever this person is, that was wrongful, wrongfully betrayed by whoever you're dealing with and connected to your family member or whatever like that. They not fucking with it. This person thinks day and night of how they can get revenge and justice onto this person. For a coin. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. This is involving finances. Finances, material items, something like that. Something was stolen from somebody. Something was stolen from the star. Look, the star. Somebody was stealing from somebody. Somebody stole something from somebody. 777. Seven, seven. Look, 777 seven, seven could be significant. Somebody stole something from somebody. The person you're dealing with, this family member, this friend, whatever this is, they stole something from their rival, from their enemy. From the person that they had this father staff with, they stole something from this person. And this person is very aware of it. They stole something. And this person has all the proof. Look, the empress. This individual stole something from a, the emperor, from a, the empress, from someone who has spiritual knowledge. From someone who has a high spiritual ranking. And that's why I say you don't want to get involved with this situation because the justice and the karma that this person is seeking on their wrongdoer, on the person that betrayed them, you don't want nothing to because that shit is going to touch them. That shit is about to touch this person eventually. That shit is about to touch them person eventually for what they did to this person. This wasn't like um, identity theft or something. This was literally like taking of funds, taking of robbing someone taking jewelry taking clothes stealing going in gaining access to someone's home when they're not home and taking their items a friendly robbery that's what they're called when someone has access to your home a window a door or something they have keys or something they go in and welcome themselves and take whatever they need Yeah, you guys, I just heard breaking and entering. Someone did a breaking and entry probably to one of their fucking friends, homeboy, homegirls. Somebody broke into somebody's house and took something that only one specific individual knew about. 
So whoever this person that they had a rival with, they know that it was them for sure. And like I said, this person has spiritual ranking too. So this person is spiritually in tune. And whoever you dealing with collective, they're very grimy. That's what I just got. They're very grimy. Not only did they go back around this person after they defrauded them, stole from them or whatever they did to them. They were still friends with this person, hanging out with this person, stealing from them in some sort of way. They were still stealing from this person in some sort of way. Taking from this person in some sort of way. And I'm, I'm going to say they was laugh now and cry later. This was a setup. This was a friendly robbery. Somebody took something from somebody. Oh, look, the emperor. Somebody took something from somebody. The emperor, the empress. 34, 43. Somebody took something from somebody. 42, 23, 24. Somebody took something from somebody. You don't need to get involved. Somebody did. I, this is somebody took something. Somebody took something. This ain't no, 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 none of that shit going on. This ain't no identity theft, no, none of that. This is like somebody wrote a check and took the money out of somebody's bank account. Somebody had access to somebody's bank account, did bank fraud. Somebody had access to somebody's material items, physical items. Whatever this is, something was stolen. This ain't no if, ands, or but about it. Something was stolen from somebody and you do not want to get into it. You may not even know what triggered this situation, what rung this, this situation off. You may just know that your person that you're dealing with, your family, your cousin, your friend, got some type of beef and they're not about to rock out by themselves. Don't get involved with this beef because the person that you're trying to defend didn't did some fucked up ass shit. This person that you're trying to defend, they didn't did some fucked up ass shit to somebody in our collective. They didn't did some fucked up ass shit to somebody. They didn't betray somebody. And, they're, and this person that they didn't betray is seeking justice and judgment on them. They have a judgment, they now they're seeking justice. And I ain't, I ain't trying to say, and I ain't tripping, but their ancestors, that I say, whoever this is that they didn't betray or did something to, their ancestors is in on this, this justice being served because their ancestors feel like there was an injustice done. So there is definitely something that's about to take place. There is definitely something that's about to take place for the person that you're trying to defend. And you do not want to have nothing to do with it when it happens. You don't want to be nowhere with this person when this justice takes place. Somebody that, so if something, if something happens to somebody in your family, just know that it happened to them because they, they, they stole something from somebody. And listen, I'm not saying like, bro, this is like physical stealing from somebody. This is like physical stealing, like taking something out of somebody's purse. Taking something out of someone's bank account. This is by force. This ain't like y'all know them little, them little petty scams where you accidentally send somebody money or something like you Zelle, Cash App. It's just, this not one of them. Where somebody sent somebody something or gave somebody something. This was forcefully taken. This was taken by force, whether with this person's consent or without their consent. This was done behind the scenes. This was back in. That's what I'm hearing, back in. This was done behind the scenes. Somebody thought somebody was their friend and they went into their house and took something. Went into their car and took something. Went into their business and took something. Some injustice was done here that was really fucked up and I'm not going to cap. This shit was fucked up. This shit was fucked up, whatever the person you involved with did to this other individual. That this person is seeking justice and judgment. That their ancestors is really helping them get justice on this on this person. And I'm getting that this this karmic you trying to defend. They've done this to a lot of people. They've done this to people before. They'll even do it to you. You dealing with somebody that's very very karmic. Somebody that's very toxic. Do not get involved with this situation, collective. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Y'all stay prayed up. Go ahead and send me a tip. So y'all can get that zero added behind it. Universal law. Y'all stay prayed up. Thank you so much. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like. And just by viewing me, that even counts. Thank you guys so much. Stay prayed up. I love you. If nobody does or told you that, I do. And I appreciate you. Drop a purple heart.